Dogs are great fun for the family and will end up being a lifelong friend. However, if you already have a pet cat, you may be unsure about adopting another animal. This is a reasonable worry as many assume cats and dogs hate each other, but this isn't always true. Believe it or not, cats and dogs can be friends. If you've owned a dog before, you'll be familiar with their needs, but if you're a first-time owner, you need to do some research so that your new pup will be comfortable in your home. When it comes to chihuahuas, they have their own needs, and these can differ from other breeds. Making sure your dog is comfortable at home is essential. This will put them at ease, and it'll make the cat less stressed too. Watch this video until the end, to learn if chihuahuas get along with cats and how to introduce your chihuahua to a cat. Can chihuahuas and cats get along? These two animals can get along. Though this video explains some scenarios where the two animals may fight or threaten each other, this is not usually the case, and these are examples of what to avoid. If you're still wondering, do chihuahuas like cats? Don't worry, they absolutely can learn to love a cat. Just like humans, each cat and chihuahua will have a different personality, so the nature of their relationship will be personal and won't always meet expectations. Watch how they behave and if you see that either is feeling threatened or anxious, make sure to intervene to avoid a fight. If your cat is already used to roaming around your house and you own other pets, you should focus on the reaction of your new chihuahua puppy. This is the ideal situation as your cat would already be socialized with other animals, and a new addition won't come as a large threat as attention is already shared. On the other hand, if your cat has been alone for most of its life, it'll probably see your home as its territory. If this is the case, make sure to focus on the moment you introduce the two, as this will set the momentum for the rest of their relationship. Calmness is key. A relaxed cat will help your new chihuahua relax too. What's the best way to increase my chihuahua's tolerance? Like cats, chihuahuas can be very territorial. This territorial nature can lead your dog to attack first when threatened, and cats are always ready to fight back. To avoid this, you need to increase the tolerance of your dog towards cats and other puppies. The difficult thing about introductions is they can only happen once. It can sometimes be a good idea to ask a friend or neighbor to bring their kitten to meet your chihuahua in a garden first to gauge their reaction. This can give a good indication of whether your chihuahua is ready for a relationship with another cat. Remember that a dog can be very sensitive to the feelings of the people and animals around them. This is why it's so important to stay calm. If you're nervous, they'll likely feel they're in danger and can damage the trust between you and your chihuahua. How to introduce your chihuahua to a cat? Reactions should be the main focus when introducing a dog and a cat. This is especially important if the cat is much older than the puppy. If the chihuahua is a puppy, they're known to get along with kittens and children and will get used to another animal quickly. 1. Keep your dog and cat away from each other for a few days. Keeping your pets apart for the first few days will allow the new puppy to get used to the environment of your house. This is where it's important to have all of the necessities for a young chihuahua and know what comforts them. The correct bedding, food, and toys will help them relax and feel at home. Slowly let your dog explore the house while keeping your cat separate. This will allow them to understand the new environment and get accustomed to the cat's smell before meeting them. 2. Let them meet through a gate. Using a gate to separate the two pets will let them analyze each other before having the chance to meet. If you notice your dog or cat becoming aggressive, try separating them and repeat the exercise a few hours later. This is where you being calm is important. Your emotions will set the tone for the meeting. 3. Bring them face to face. When letting your cat and chihuahua meet for the first time, be there to supervise. Meeting without the restrictions of a gate can be too close for comfort if either dog or cat feels anxious. Make sure you're there to calm them and step in if there's any aggression. If you sense that your dog is being aggressive, use a leash to control the interaction. 4. Watch closely. As an owner, you need to be aware of their body language when they meet. When you're sure that they won't attack each other, watch them interact from a distance. If you observe your dog's behavior becoming aggressive separate them from the cat and vice versa. 5. Strengthen their bond. Once the scary first meeting is complete, you need to work on strengthening their relationship. This can be done by giving each pet equal attention as cats and chihuahuas can easily get jealous when they feel like they're not getting enough of their owner's love. Also, as your dog ages, you can consider training sessions with a professional dog trainer to help teach them etiquette. 
Final tips. Keeping your cat or dog separate can sometimes be challenging. A cage or separate room is the best way to quarantine them while the new pet becomes accustomed to the house. Sometimes your cat and chihuahua ignoring each other can be a good sign. This shows that they don't see the other animal as a threat. Age can sometimes be an issue when it comes to dominance. Finding a dog the same age as your cat can be easier to manage. If a pup and kitten are raised together, this can result in an even stronger bond. Initially, separate their food and water bowls. This will take the strain off of feeding times and will stop any territorial instincts from kicking in. Spend equal time with each pet to avoid any jealousy.